A torch. Press F to interact with objects. I like how whenever I redefine the keys that they were smart enough to bound to, to show the display what I bound it to instead of the default. Some games don't do that. What the fuck is that? You know, at the very least, it should be making noise. It's a missed opportunity. That is a ball of flesh, dude. Fuck yeah. This is like some Ed Gein shit. You guys remember him? He's my hero. Do you really think that you're worthy of my favor? You're not even able to make a sacrifice to me. Surrender, as all others you knew. What? What the fuck? Yeah, so I like this MC Escher shit. I am down with that. Fucking gravity changing and stuff. How do I get down there? Up there. How do I get up there? Down there. Mm, not a big fan of the glowing, like, do this thing next sort of business. While holding a torch, you can set things on fire. Burn this wood down. Alright, there we go. Holy shit. Okay. It caught on fire. And we're gonna burn this too. Hell yeah. What the fuck is this shit? It's like a puddle of blood that's like stuck to the ceiling. Like floating blood. I like games that are like mindfuck, nightmarish, uh, non occludian geometry. I like it. Wouldn't like Satan or whoever's in charge of hell be really fucking pissed that I'm fucking up his architecture and like rearranging his torture setup? I can't wait to try out Bagony Unrated. What's up guys, Proto Dead back with another Let's Try Out video. Today we're going to be trying out Agony. And this is un the unrated version because I'm not down with that G-rated shit. So, um, I bought this on the Steam Summer Sale and hadn't got around to it. Um, forgive me for my voice, I just woke up. So it could be a little groggy. I like that logo. Down with the logo. Hitchcock. Did he have a weenie? Did I see a weenie? So, this opening screen, this screen, like, is fucking rad. I'm liking it. Knowledge and spirit. Is this the person we play as? Do we play as a female individual? Alright, let's give it a shot. New game. Normal, hard. We're going to go normal, because I am the pussy. Gamma. F7. Oh, I like this. They should do this on every game, where you can hit the function keys to change the gamma or the brightness. I think that's good. In the end, there is no remedy. Oh. The fall. It's the last thing I remember. Memories tear apart my soul. Consumed by the endlessly burning fire. Wow. My body turns again into ashes, revealing ruined bones. I'm falling into the darkest place, where light causes pain, and darkness brings solace. Into a place which deprives one of faith and erases memories. 
which leads to madness and emphasis the boundary between people and beasts. The Red Goddess. Her shine shrouds other memories. She is the key to the gate of unending agony. She is the answer. The Red Goddess. The road that I must follow. Oh, shit. Use the use the mouse to move the camera, and W A S and D to move your character. I'm pretty sure those are instructions that weren't necessary. Oh man, this giant fucking backbone that we're walking on is squishy sounding. This is badass, man. I'm I'm a sucker. I'm sorry. This shit's fucking cool. So it's a drawbridge into a castle of flesh. The whole thing is flesh. Okay, sprint. You can sprint in this game, finally. A fucking game you can sprint in again. Oh, shit. Look at the fucking body parts raining down. There's a heart. Some feet. Look at that foot. Holy fuck. Oh, that's a vagina. That is, that is, I have seen vaginas before, and that is one of them. I wonder if you can knock this over. That's badass. Oh, shit. They went motherfucking clickety-clack splatter all over the place. A torch. Press F to interact with objects. I like how whenever I redefined the keys that they were smart enough to bound to, to show the display what I bound it to instead of the default. Some games don't do that. Fuck yeah. This is like some Ed Gein shit. You guys remember him? He's my hero. The fucking walls made of skin. So what is this? That I just got that torch. Okay. So is this teaching you the first method of puzzle solving is you got to throw torches in floor pits of timber? The judgment chamber it's called. Press E to cast an astral link that can show you a path to your next goal, but use it wisely. It has limited resources. Press E to continue. I guess it takes like some spirit points away or something. Okay. Fuck, man, that's cool. I like that. There's been some other games that do that. Um, I think Grand Theft Auto V does that, where you can it, it'll show you like uh, your waypoint, like as a representation on the street. Preparations are going well. I got rid of the bodies of three innocents and used a fire which engulfed their corpses to prepare an altar. The stench of burnt meat torn from their deformed bones nearly knocked me out. I feel there is no return now. But what I but what would I return to? All that is left is to sacrifice their beating hearts. I held them in my hands while they were dying in agony feeling how the life vanished from them with every beat. The ritual shall be completed this night. Signed, Kentucky Nomenclature. Signed, K.N. wonder who K.N. is. What's that down there? You can press space to jump over small obstacles. I ain't gonna do it. Can't fucking fool me to jump down there. I'm supposed to go over here. Hmm. 
What am I supposed to put? Make an offering on the altar. Something is missing. Oh, shit. Oh, he does have a weenie. What the fuck is that? You know, at the very least, it should be making noise. It's a missed opportunity. That is a ball of flesh, dude. Like, this reminds me of in Star Wars, how whenever, whenever the whole group got caught by those Ewoks, and it, like, sprung them up into the air, like Chewbacca wasn't supposed to go for the trap, and he did. Oh, shit. Hey, Han, can you reach my lightsaber? Yeah, sure. The sacrifice of blood, it says. And there's, like, teeth and tongues down in there, I think. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I know what I must do. I must take this man's weenie in my hand and shake it vigorously. <laughs> fuck, man. But he's still alive, isn't he? So I've got a heart down in the bottom. So I've got one bar on the heart. That means I can hold three hearts at a time. I'm supposed to balance it, right? Where do I get another heart from? I have a mini-map. Now... Oh, those are butt cheeks. I thought this was just a mound of, like, faceless flesh. I didn't realize it was a body that was pointing backwards at me. That's terrible. I was looking at butt cheeks. I will bathe in blood. I guess I'm gonna go down here and look for another heart. What the fuck? I like it. I don't know if- Oh! The soul mirror is a special artifact that will store your soul inside itself. After death, it can give you a part of its power to recreate your fragile body and refill your destiny lines. The soul mirror breaks after three uses, after which you need to reactivate it. Holy shit! I don't know what that means. It's a respawn point? It saves my game? What? Not a big fan of the minimap, man. I mean, I'm sure there's some utility of the minimap, but I think the minimap in a game like this really takes away from the atmosphere. I'm in the abandoned prison now. Hey, got a question. Tree roots, do they normally fucking bob and weave like that? I don't think so. You can press control to crouch and squeeze through smaller gaps. No, I can't, because I'm going to change that to something else. There isn't a keybind to fucking crouch. <sighs> or am I stupid? Now, here it is. There we go. I have to set everything to Tarkov settings, man, or I'm gonna fucking get lost. Bugs. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I can see my body. Oh, okay. Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck? I mean, I want this guy's heart. Give it to me. Uh, 
Okay, so can't go towards the tentacles right now. These things look like they're holding bones for me to grab, but I can't grab them. And this guy has a heart that I want, and I can't get it. So does that mean I go this way now? What the? That's cool. Yeah, I mean, oh shit. Wayne. That's gruesome. That is motherfucking gruesome. And I love it. You can live without your heart, can't you, buddy? Can't live without that, that handsome weenie, though. That is a monster. I wonder how many man hours it took for them to craft that circumcised penis and ball sack. Like, they had to log that somewhere. Like, uh... Hey... Hey, Chad. Hey. Hey, Eric. Eric, did you get that, that thing done that I wanted you to get done? And he's like, uh... You mean, like, animating the, uh, the spirit line to show the, the guy the next objective? No, no, not that. The other bullet point. The, the testicles and the, and the penis. Oh yeah, no, actually we we're having problems with the shaders. So the texturing is is done, the mesh model's done, but the shaders are not we're not quite get on that stat. You need to get the fucking the ball sack and the penis done. What are you thinking? God damn it. Okay, so I can't jump up here, so obviously I must push forward. So this is a one way. You come down, but you have to make your way through this maze. This small labyrinthian maze. I got one heart. I got some lungs down there now. I guess that's like my stamina for when I'm running. That's what it is. Okay. If I had a torch, I could burn this. Oh, why? What? Oh, damn. I got burnt to five. Don't step on the fire. And I can't go through here, I probably have to burn it too, so I need to find a torch somewhere. Okay, I got stuck on the terrain. I got stuck by a stalactite, a, sl a slagmite. Here we go. I have to choose why. Oh, this thing glows. Mm, not a big fan of the glowing, like, do this thing next sort of business. While holding a torch, you can set things on fire. Press right click. Close to a flammable object to set it on fire is dangerous to the lesser creatures. Bigger demons will be attracted by a torch. So remain cautious while using it. Burn this wood down. Okay. Alright, there we go. Holy shit. But this isn't the only place I want to burn. I'm going to burn this guy's weenie. That ain't happening. Mm. Okay. It caught on fire. Oh my gosh. And we're going to burn this too. Hell yeah. What the fuck is this shit? It's like a puddle of blood that's like stuck to the ceiling. Like floating blood. I like games that are like mindfuck, nightmarish, uh, non-Euclidean geometry. 
all that shit. Like nightmares. Um, after today, what I am most afraid of in the depths of hell does not even exist in a solid, does not even have a solid form. Hell else can I explain a shadow that doesn't belong to a living thing? Even the red goddess doesn't seem to be aware of its presence. So who are they and why do they constantly torment us like nightmares? Even now I know that they are lying in wait somewhere in the gloom, secretly observing. If they don't serve the goddess, then whom do they serve? Who could be greater than her? Though we call them shadow people, we really don't know much about them. If succubi are the eyes of the goddess, then whose eyes are these monsters? I like it. Okay, so I wonder, is this the way forward? Should I go backwards? <laughs> oh, I think I've been here before. Oh yeah, baby. I like it. The gates of hell? Excuse me? Oh. What? Oh. Back here again. Back to the vagina. Let me in, dude. It won't let me in. Oh, I gotta light this on fire, I'll bet. If anything from Legend of Zelda has taught me, it's that if this torch isn't lit, like these other torches are, then this, this needs to be lit. Seems like this is not working. Okay, god damn it, back to the purple shit. I should have went back. I wasted my damn time. This way. She never really the same. For each one, she looks different. What did I take? She's never really the same. For each one, she looks different. It's easier to sense her than to see her. It's easiest to cut off. Not look with the eyes, not with the eyes. Then you see more clearly. Then you see more clearly. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. What the fuck? Dude, I need another body, man. I need to fucking rip some dude's heart out. That is the mission to do right now. Shit. Ooh, there's something over here glowing. That is an African idol, if I've ever seen one. Collected statuettes and pictures give you points that unlock additional content in the menu gallery. Cool. 
That was a fertility idol fetish. I've studied my art. Okay, um, so I guess I'm gonna go back to the first room where I burned the shit. This room. The abandoned prison. <laughs> it's you. I knew it. I knew you'd be here, Amrafel. Dead. You're dead. We're all rotting here because of you. Amrafel? Savior. My savior. Did you really think this would end differently? Maybe next time you won't think with your cock. But no, wait. There won't be a next time. You've got no one to blame but yourself, don't you? Your pact with the devil didn't foresee this, did it? Fucking asshole. Give it to me, you son of the whore. What the fuck? No! No! Oh, man. Curse you, Amarbel! like a boss so if you're dead and you go to hell and you die again what happens so that was my torch huh okay uh shit fuck need another torch Hell yeah. Wouldn't like Satan or whoever's in charge of hell be really fucking pissed that I'm fucking up his architecture and like rearranging his torture setup I would if I was Satan do you really think that you're worthy of my favor you're not even able to make a sacrifice to me surrender as all others you knew what what the fuck? Yeah, so I like this MC Escher shit. I am down with that. Fucking gravity changing and stuff. How do I get down there? Up there. How do I get up there, down there? I guess maybe I'm not meant to. Hmm. Okay, so can't go up this way. And so was that sexy, fleshy creature, was that the red goddess? She was donkey thick, or whatever they fucking say now. Guess I'm supposed to go this way? Listen. I couldn't burn this thing down. Oh, hey. Another African fetish. Oh, man. Um, what to do next? She'll find you everywhere. 
You go to her yourself. What? You won't defend yourself. You go to her yourself. What? What am I supposed to do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Okay. I just got fucked up by some memories. Don't worry. I'll free you with them, my king. Like the loading bar at the bottom. That was cool. So here we are, back at the mirror. I still can't jump up here. I don't have a heart in my inventory. What the fuck? So what does that mean? Does that mean I have to do all that shit all over again? I have to do all of it all over again. So he's got a heart there, and I want that heart. Who stole my heart? What? What the fuck just happened? My soul hunter. Let's forget about this defeat. I apparently did not react quick enough. <laughs> I fell into a pit. A pit of despair. God damn it. Having seven heads and ten horns. Hell yeah. That is an odd number of heads. Okay, this is my last life, I think. Here we go, we're gonna try it again. I'm gonna try to defeat that woman lady. And rip her heart out. And then I gotta avoid the pitfall trap. I should have taken a left turn at Albuquerque. <clears throat> okay. I can do this. Brothers, beware of the shadow. I have seen demons covered in naught but the gloom. I feel they are deserving. I feel they are observing us all the time, hiding under cloak and darkness. Woe awaits if one of them captures your soul. Even worse than hell already. I've seen tons of thorny hands pulling our brother into the abyss. These monsters live on fear, and only light can protect us from them. Observe the shadow, even your own. I say unto you, Satan himself lives in it, and will never know rest. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> okay, so. I'm gone. Whatever you see, it's not me. It's the only way they stop plaguing us. I'm gone. Whatever you see, ah! it's not me. It's the only way they stop plaguing ah! us. I'm gone. God damn it. Whatever you see, it's not me. Oh wow. I just wanted her heart, man. What the fuck? This is bullshit. So I've got a torch. Maybe I can do something with those tentacle things. So let me rip this weenie guy's heart out. <laughs> to add insult to injury. 
before he rips the heart out and he's got to slam the dude's head back into the crucifix. Okay, so this floor collapses underneath my feet. Oh, there's a mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh, holy moly, dude. Oh, jeez. Slammed his head back. <laughs> there we go. I only needed two of them. Ah, memories. Sanctuary of falls and agony. So much sin and flesh. It's so disappointing. Man, she's real breathy. I've done it. Now I'll never get out of here. But you must understand, I had no other choice. I had to offer a sacrifice. How else could I get here in this place? Evil isn't so obvious. I'm writing this letter for all those who have the courage to search for her. I know there are many of you. I'm thinking of the Blood Goddess. For some reason, she is the only clear memory that all of us have here. Even though all of us have... <laughs> For some reason, she is the only clear memory that all of us here have. Even though I don't know what sins brought me to this place, I won't stop praying. And you too must remain strong in faith. Let's do penance for our sins and the Lord will save us. Surely he can't be so cruel. On your way, you'll notice some paintings, often written in blood. But don't be afraid, brother. Brother! through their authors. Though their authors surely have perished, they left them behind. They left behind them informative clues. Together we will manage to change our fate, as the Lord has an enormous heart. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. The good Lord, you say, with the heart? I don't know about that. Okay, so some simple tricks and traps here. I've played Rise of the Triad, and I know how this goes. Oh shit, what the fuck? What the flying fuck just happened? I just got sent through a warp gate or something. Oh man, they just got some nasty orangutan kitties. Oh. Dude, it's like fucking dark. Can I not light the candle? God damn it. Man, I really like the textures. I like the whole at the the atmosphere, the aesthetic. I like this whole like everything that's going on. Like I am down with it. Like Dante's Inferno before years and years ago when I played it, it had a lot of the same disgusting flesh prison sort of shit going on and I loved it then. I thought it was brilliant and great. Uh, I'm a sucker for this shit. I know this game's gotten a lot of bad reviews of being boring or being uh, repetitive or whatever and I've only, this is only like the first 30 minutes of gameplay, right? But I, this is up my alley. This is what I like. This is I'm down with this shit. I'm cool with it. Um, it's it's a thumbs up for me, man. For for twenty bucks, fifteen bucks, I say for me, in my opinion, this is definitely an experience to be had. Uh, I think I'm gonna cut it off here. Let's. Uh... Whoa! Look, there's like a 
There's like a labyrinth over there. Oh shit, what's going on? Interactions? Press F. That's it, like an apple. Oh, what the fuck? Chance to possess martyrs. Skill tree. Leave the skill screen to confirm your choice. Okay. I think it was you. Save changes, yes. Okay, so you, when you pick an apple off of a tree, it gives you a skill point. Okay, so down here is like a, uh, a maze with some tricks and traps. Um, and this is obviously an underground horror cave. And over here is more like a labyrinth, like a hedge maze. Holy fuck. On your journey, you will find various obstacles. Sometimes you will need to just take one step forward to unveil a new path. Okay. Jesus. Criminy. Holy blistered titty fuck, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna... Let's read the words of the developer. As you guys know, a Let's Try Out video is a part Let's Play. There's gonna be some commentary in here, a part tutorial you learn as I learn as I play the game, and part first impressions, because a lot of these games I've never played before. And uh, you get to go through, step through all the problems that I step through, and then hopefully we come out the other side learning a little bit. And kind of a part review, because I try to rehash a little bit of my opinions at the end of the piece. After we read the words of the developer, we can try to make a decision whether they're shoveling us a load of bullshit or if they're spot on honest and it seems to make a lot of sense with what they're trying to, uh, the product that they're trying to produce. And if you want to spend your hard earned money on it, because at the end of the day, I'm trying to give you an honest presentation of the first 30 minutes or so of a video game really is. That way we can make a sound judgment on it. So let's read the words of the developer. Um, yeah, so shit, fuck. Um, <laughs> that was, that was pretty grotesque. That's, uh, that's why I'm here. But I didn't know it was as sexual as, as it is. Um, the, all the stuff I saw before, when I first became interested in this game, it does, it wasn't near as sexual as apparently this trailer's making it out to be. And, uh, uh, I guess we'll, we'll deal with that when it comes, um, you know, I mean, I understand that the human figure naked, like, a, a something else sexualizes the human figure being naked. Being naked is the, nat the natural form or whatever, you know. Um, but clearly, when somebody creates art like this and they make it overtly sexual, then it's meant to be sexual, so. Uh, anyway, what I'm trying to say is I thought it was just going to be blood and guts and shit and uh and hell and stuff so let's see let's see what the synopsis is agony unrated is a first person survival horror set in hell you will begin your journey as a tormented soul within the depths of hell without any memories about your past a special ability to, con to control people on your path to possess demons and give you the measures to survive the reviews are mixed uh, it's a mixed bag it says release date 2018 but man I feels like it it only released you know not too awfully long ago um, I know this this thing was in development for years and years and years by Mad Mind Studio and I really like their logo with the Hitchcock from the side and the spiral in his mind it's on sale right now normally 15 bucks this is a single player game uncensored journey through hell explore the most terrifying vision of hell in history in the history of gaming kill everyone who will stand in your way and find the red goddess in fully uncensored agony unrated be a witness to the brutal scenes of murder and become a judge and an executioner executioner of the condemned souls avoid traps and develop your character skills to discover the secret of your past and the path to salvation oh man we're gonna get sa sal salvagized um, that kind of reminds me of uh, Dante's Inferno, the game that came out on the PlayStation 3. Um, that game was so fucking good, but it got slammed in the reviews. I want to do a, 
a video of that game because that game was fucking great about going down into hell and whooping some ass. But it got slammed in the reviews and uh, they couldn't make a sequel uh, because too many people was like, it's it's just like God of War. It's just like God of War. Well, fuck, dude. God of War was just like Ani Musha. You guys remember that shit? Man, people piss me off. They're fucking stupid. Your actions rewrite you to eight different endings that combine to form a bloody puzzle full of sin, sex, and manipulation. Uh, take on one of the most dangerous and at the same time the most attractive demon from hell. I'm not sure I, I necessarily personally need that in my gaming experience. Um, I don't I don't believe that sex is sin. Uh, I, I really, this kind of cheap. It really is because that's like a really adolescent mindset. It's like a really juvenile sort of idea of what bad, being bad is, is being having sex. Um, complete your story mode as a brutal predator, leaving behind a bloody path littered with the limbs of your victims. I'm cool with that. I've, I've played Dead Space. You will begin your journey as a tormented soul within the depths of hell without any memories of your past. Why does that fucking matter? How come every time we play a game, we have to have amnesia? Like, what the fuck? That's so lazy and stupid. The special ability to control people in your path and even possess simple-minded, simply-minded demons gives you the necessary measures to survive in the extreme conditions that you are in. Um, I don't I don't know what country this game was made, but I'm pretty sure it's not an American English speaking um, as their first language country. I would guess Spain. By exploring the hostile environment and interacting with the weary souls of the hellscape, the hero will soon understand that there is only one way to escape hell, and it will be require and it will require meeting the mystical red goddess. An agony mode features full-fledged story mode as well as open challenge system that randomly generates levels for players to explore and survive to gain new high scores. Challenge other players on the most brutal and the malevolent environments. Complete challenges in agony mode to fight bosses and it's in several completely different environments full of threats and traps. Agony shows you at Mist Hell where you must strive to stay alive and solve the riddle behind the mysterious red goddess. Architect of this place of sorrow and pain and soul entity with knowledge of how to escape. But there is more to the story than it seems haunted by nightmare creatures. You'll gain the ability to possess demons and other souls to find the way out of hell. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to play, <laughs> I'm gonna continue playing this, but I'm gonna shut the video off right now. Hey, thanks for watching, uh, appreciate you making it all the way to the end of this video. Let me know what you think about this sick shit. Give me your opinion down below in the comments. Uh, I'll catch you on the flip-flop, man, see you in the future. Like, comment, and subscribe, later. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. And since you're here, why don't you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Sound off in the comments below about any other opinions that you might have. I appreciate you stopping by. Subscribe for future content. Share my video with a friend if you can. It helps me out a whole lot. This is Proto Dead saying I'll see you in the future.